so I would just create a reference user group here for that particular group and I would say basically I would give the same info types uh, I would give the sequence here uh, <coughs> and uh, let us see Zero zero 6 so this is nothing but a okay let me give the number 5 here okay 4 is already used I am giving 5 INS 0007 the last one is 06 sorry not here 06 INS 0008 okay so now I have created the info group for my user group as well as for the reference user group. I hope you clearly understood what is info group means and what is user group. It's very easy. Don't confuse with both the terms. User group is a group of users. Info group is a sequence of info types in my simple words. But when you check box this, then you have to make sure you have to enter the user group. If I remove this uh, checkbox, it means not only this user group, but any person, any user can be able to execute this info group. So, this checkbox is very important here if you want to restrict the permission of the info group to certain user groups. So, let me save it. So, my info group is so info group is done. Good. But what is the purpose of the info group if you don't assign it to the action? Because when you go to PF40, you will see action. You will not see info group, right? If you go to the PF40, if I open another screen, if you go to PF40, here, you will see the actions. You are not seeing the info group. So, when you complete your configuration or info group, you need to go and create an action. So, let us create an action. I am clicking on set up personal actions and then this screen comes up I am clicking on action type personal action types I am clicking on that this screen comes up in my presentation slides I explained you what are the different columns you need to configure click on new entries give ZT something like Zenith uh, new hire USA I am creating new hire USA. What is functional character? Because this is the new hire, so it is initial hiring. So I am giving number one. What is employment status? Employment status is number three for active. Since this is a new hire, I would enter three here. If you want to know what are the different other values which can be stored here, you can press F1 and it will show you under the employment status what are the different values zero means employee not with the company so when you terminate an employee you will put zero here but since this is a hiring i am putting three because three is nothing but a employee active in company so you can put any number but depending upon what action you are creating and then after that you have there are certain check boxes what are these check boxes? The first one is the position. This is personal area, then employee group, then employee subgroup. If you check, uh, if you basically tick mark these check boxes, what it will do is that basically, if you go to this screen here, PF40, are you able to see this particular uh, uh, field, uh, you know, columns uh, enabled? the personal area is enabled employee subgroup is enabled employee subgroup is enabled why because whenever you basically you know tick mark this particular check boxes then it will basically open those columns there because it is easy is the user friendly user can directly enter certain values on the front end screen now your uh, this check boxes is done the most important thing is this column if you remember I was telling you just defining info group has no meaning you have to basically create an action and then assign your info group to this action then only this action makes a meaning in the system and this info group will drive this action so when you see PF40 
in this PF40 screen, this action doesn't have any meaning. The info group which is at attached to this action that holds the actual value in the system. So now what I have done, I have created an action. Now I am assigning my info group. So my info group was basically ZT something like that which we created. Yes, Zenith Hiring USA. So when I click on this, now I have assigned my info group to the particular action. Now what are these two checkboxes? It means since we are hiring a person, if you basically uh, remember my previous lecture, I told you the first action is the info type 0000. The first info type, mandatory info type is 0000. What is this means? Like whenever you are running an action or whenever you are executing an action, you want to capture that action in this particular info type called actions info type. So basically you check mark these two boxes and hit enter. So you are personal action is done your personal action is done so my configuration is done for group and action so if you uh, again visit this video from the beginning what was info group and how I created the info group for a particular user group and how I created an action how I created uh, how I assigned the info group to an action so you have to practice uh, using different values but you can follow my steps so action is good but the most important thing here is that after the action is done you want to see whether this action is coming in my screen or not I still don't see that particular action Zenith new hire USA why because I have not basically indicated anywhere I have not instructed the system whether that particular action Zenith uh, New Hire USA is basically allowed for my user group. Are you understanding? Because who knows I am not allowed for that particular action. That is the reason why I am not able to see that action. But if the company wants me to give permission to see that action here, then I have to basically configure the action menu. So action menu I told you is the list of actions. Currently how many actions are right now here? There are two. So I want to add one more action. So this is nothing but your action menu. So let us go back here and if you see here action menu. You are able to see action menu? Yes here. Click on this clock. It will show you this screen. Click on the first activity. So this will show you here. So you don't have to do anything here because the menu 0, 1 for actions is already created here and it shows it is dependent on the user group dependency. That is the reason why it is not showing for me because that particular action whatever I have created is not, is not assigned to my user group. So once this particular is configured here, so this is already there. So menu is 0, 1 and the actions uh, sorry these actions and it is user dependency and similarly you have to give a reference user group now if i go back now i have to define my action menu so what is action menu let us see if i click on the action menu here it is asking me which menu i say it's the first menu which is nothing but the actions the list of actions okay the system says okay hit enter i am hitting enter now the system says okay for which user group what actions you want to see in the list then i know my user group was 86 so now for 86 if you see there are only two actions allowed and that you are able to see here see zenith hiring zenith new hire but i want to include the another action which we created just now so for that reason I have to go and click the new entries because right now there are two I want to create the third one I am entering my user group sequential number is 03 action is ZT I am pressing good now again I am giving the same thing for my reference uh, user group also 
zt this is done action menu is done perfect because now i am telling my system hey look for the pa40 screen i belong to this user group 86 and i should be able to see this particular action then the system knows okay go to this pa40 screen again login back go back come with pa40 here just a second Oh, I didn't save it. So you have to save it. Now you go back here to PF40. When you go to PF40, now you are able to see your third action. This is action menu. This is action menu. It's very simple because I have assigned this particular action to this particular user group and for this menu. So, but this checkbox was very important because I tick mark that is the reason why system knows hey these actions are only permitted for this user group which are listed here not for all other. Similarly, there are so many other user groups like you might be belonging to this user group called 00. I am belonging to 86. So, you will be you will be able to see all these actions. See how many actions are there for you uh, for the user group 00. So many actions. But I cannot see because my user group was 86, so I am only seeing this many. But if I change my user group, let us go and change my user group to 00, just for an instance, I would like to show you. If you go here, parameters, change your user group from 86 to 00, hit enter and then save it. Just save your user group. Now you saved it, go back, again go to PF40. Now see, I am seeing so many actions because it was dependent on the user group. So user group number is not important, but the meaning of number system takes this very seriously because system knows this user group is allowed for this action, this user group is allowed for this info group. So that is the reason why you have to be very very careful whenever you design a info group or a user group. So I would go here. Okay, so let me go back and uh, go back to the own data. Okay, just a second. It is locked by me. Okay. Okay. Okay, so something I just locked it. Okay, just a second. Okay. So I'm just closing this one. System user profile own data. Okay. Okay. So, but I mean, you uh, ho hope you understood what I exactly I was trying to show you. So basically, whenever you create a user group, that number of the user group is not important. But in the system, the system knows what each user group is allowed to. So, when you basically go and uh, give a number here, make sure that you, when you practice yourself, make sure that you enter that number also somewhere. And uh, you can also define your own user group, uh, try to practice, you know, create your own uh, info group uh, and, uh, uh, you know, the action menus, action just follow my examples and probably you will be able to basically learn a lot from my uh, navigation whatever i showed you so hope this is this is very uh, this was really good uh, uh, information for you how to create an info group how to define yourself for a particular user group and how to create info group how to create personal action and then how to basically assign your uh, info group to the personal actions.